Shining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see Hey, it's a brand new day Wake up darling, show me what you can do With the gifts you're given Hello, hello, my name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos, where you at? I have to make this real quick because my camera is about to die, but I am going to take you through my wash day routine. I mean, I feel like I've done this a few times. Once you've seen me wash my hair once, you've seen it <laughs> a billion times, but I will go ahead and wash it on camera. This video is actually for the twist out that I would do afterwards. I don't think I've done a twist out on this channel, so I will show you how I actually twist out my hair whenever I wash it. So a quick summary or a quick chat, I guess, update. Uh, my hair was in two crown braids. I usually keep my hair in this crown braid when I don't feel like doing anything to it. If you haven't seen my crown braid video, make sure you watch that. But that's like my easy go-to protective style when I feel like not really doing much to it. Um, I just took it out. I, I actually took it out in the car on the way home because I am in a crunch for time. It's like 6.50 something and I have a class to teach at 8.30. So we're going to do this real quick. Here's how it looks right now. Surprisingly, it's not that dry and I will tell you why it's not dry. I will show you this when I'm washing my hair, but I have been using this shea butter mix that I made myself and it's been working wonders so i've been using this butter in my hair so it's not as dry as it usually would be when i take it out of the crown braid um i will be washing my hair with this mane and tail shampoo and conditioner this wasn't my first choice i always hear about mane and tail i never liked the idea of it i don't know why i think because when i was a kid it's probably the horse that was on it <laughs> So I never liked the idea of it, but I decided to buy it because I could not find the, um, what's the shampoo that I use? The one in the purple bottle. I'm talking as if y'all can give me feedback right now, but you, oh, Ozzy, Ozzy. I couldn't find the Ozzy shampoo and conditioner that I usually get. That is like my go-to option. It's cheap. It's usually big bottles. I saw this. That was also another big bottle. I've used it before. It's decent. Um, nothing really special, nothing amazing. It, it works, it does what it's supposed to do. The shampoo is a little bit on the drying side, but as soon as I put the conditioner back and let it sit for a while, we are back to normal. So I will go ahead and wash this hair and I will be back. Maybe I might film the whole process of washing my hair. I don't know, it depends on my camera battery. So go talk to my camera battery. If not, then I'll see you when I am doing the twist out. I will go ahead and detangle with my uh, shower comb. And then I will also use the Felicia Leatherwood brush after that. But I like to use the shower comb because it's big enough to get everything. And then I use the Felicia Leatherwood and then I will section it and bring it down. So it's easier to use this while still under the water. Under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to This is just what I do. It's easier for me to detangle this way. Not so even easier, it's faster for me to detangle this way. And like I said, I'm in a crunch for time. So this helps me a lot. Go ahead and split it in half. And then I will braid it down. It's much easier to work with now because I've already detangled it once with that big two comb. A little quick test of shot. Ooh. I love this brush, y'all. I have yet to find a brush that's better than this detangling brush. It doesn't rip out too much hair. 
and I also make sure that I comb through with a wide tooth comb before. I think this brush would do some wonders on a wash and go. I'm just not about that wash and go life. So <laughs> if you have 4C hair, you, you will know why I'm not about that wash and go life. Magic of editing, before you blink your eyes, okay? Let's do this quick magic trick real quick. By the time you blink your eyes, blink real quick for me. And by the time you blink your eyes and you open your eyes, you will see that these two braids back here will be done, okay? So when I say blink, you blink, okay? Blink. Oh no, I didn't edit it yet, I'm sorry. Let's try it again, okay? Let's try it again. This time, I'm real serious, okay? So, blink. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You found a beauty goes with My hair is not done, but I still have to teach my class. My class is going to start in just two minutes at 8.30. So I put this little scarf on. This is just the life that we live in here. And that's why it's so hard for me to record most of the time. So I am just going to start doing this and record while I still have to, to live my life. <laughs> so y'all can actually just stick around with me and see what I do on my free time. So I am about to go ahead and set up for my class. I haven't even reviewed the lesson yet. I just need to tap through. And if you are interested in having a side gig right now, I teach for VIP Kid. I will make sure to put the link in the description below. Sorry I'm talking so fast. I got like one minute now. But I'll put the link in the description. And if you are interested and you sign up through my link, you can actually just send me an email. My email is also in the description. And I will guide you through how I actually got through the interview portion and everything else. So keep that in mind. I'll keep the camera on while I am teaching. And yeah. Okay. No eye, no eye. Can you guess another one? No A. Do you want me to give you one letter? To achieve the perfect twist out, you really only need four different items. And this is how I achieve my perfect foolproof twist out all the time. I use water in my little spray bottle. I use my shea butter mix, eco styler gel, and then also a detangler brush. You could honestly use any detangler brush that you have. I just prefer to use the Felicia Leatherwood brush because that's just been what I found works for me right now and it doesn't rip so much hair out. Um, basically I spray my hair with water first and then I put the shea butter mixture on top of it. After that I make sure that it's actually in my hair like I massage it in and I comb it through and everything and then I put the eco styler gel on top of it kind of holds everything in place makes it smooth and takes out all of the the pieces that would be sticking out without it. After that, I brush through with my detangler brush and if you see that there are several times I smooth my hair down with my hands, it kind of puts all the fly away and clumps it all up into one so when I twist it, you won't have pieces that are still sticking out. Unfortunately, my camera died before I fully finished making this video. but. Um, a great trick at the end when you are done for about 30 minutes to an hour sit with a shower cap or even just a plastic bag do you if you got grocery bags put that on your head <laughs> so put a bag on top of your head and tie it up or just put a shower cap on top of your head the heat that just naturally making from your head with the cap on will help well my little theory I don't know if this is scientific or not but my little theory and what I have noticed is putting that heat cap on my head with the water and the shea butter it feels like it gets absorbed more into my hair to give you that perfect juicy twist out uh, rise and shine gotta get the day started sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling